Eyewitnesses say they heard loud voices shouting for help as fire consumed the three-bedroom estate apartment occupied by the woman believed to be in her late 20s, her son and her unmarried partner who is now a subject of police investigation. Neighbors say the woman had had a bitter quarrel with her partner on Saturday night. Here's chairman of the resident association, Emmanuel Fiagbenu. Well, um, uh, around 4 a.m. this morning, this dawn, um, uh, we we got a call that there was a, f a fire break in uh, one of our homes uh, here. And so we all came out as we normally do. We are quite united and together in this estate. So all of us came out to find out and we tried to go call the fire service to come and uh, help in putting the fire off. And so during the process, we got to see the gentleman, in fact, I've I, we got to see the gentleman who was saying that he was sure that the wife and the daughter were in the, in the room. And uh, apparently they had some family, so some domestic issues. And uh, I'm not in a position to give the I mean, details in terms of whatever might, might have transpired. But the long and short is that we, the fire service put off the fire and that they, they went and told us that they, there wasn't anybody in the room. And so our fifth years were late and we thought that was all. All in for us to police to come in. The police came in uh, to take the gentleman. Well, of course, he went to. They took him to the police station to take his statement. And then, but at that time, we still could not find a wife and then the the son. Uh, but we were trying to. We we're just hoping that we could make contact with the family. That's, that's the wife's family to see whether she managed to leave or something because of the issues they had. And so we. The police came in later and they found that that the, apparently the daughter, the, the, the wife, and the and the son uh, were all bent to death. Unfortunately, no, they couldn't. They could not tell us anything. I think it's still early days yet. I'm sure after incidents like this, they come back to do investigations and find out what exactly might have been the issue. Of course, there will be rumors here and there as to what happened, whether it's arson or it's, it was an accident or something. But at the moment, we're not be, we are not, we are not, you don't have the capacity to tell exactly what is what. So as residents and me as the chairman of the resident association, we, uh, we're just assisting the police and the officers and the, all the, the police and the officers and also the community members to see how we can handle this. Meanwhile, partner of the deceased, identified only as Patrick, has been picked up by police to assist in the investigations. Fire investigators say they will analyze evidence obtained from the scene of the incident to arrive at a conclusion. Francis Upokwamponsa is leading the fire probe. Okay, uh, at around 0440 hours, we had a distress call from a caller announcing an outbreak of fire at Kutunsi Satellites at a place called GHS Housing Limited. It was a three-bedroom self-contained which was on fire. So my men arrived at a scene at around 0450 hours. We found out that, yes, indeed, the whole building was on fire. So I ordered my men to get to work. And then uh, at around 520 hours, we were able to bring the fire under control. And then around uh, 555 hours, it was finally extinguished. So this is what we really happened at the scene. And we are learning that um, some individuals suspect arson already. Have you been able to pick up any indication to this effect? Um, from Ghana National Fire Service point of view, we are still conducting our investigations. These are the views of the public. We are still conducting our investigations. Once we are done, we will let the public know the real cause of the fire. Philip Ancrest reports for Joy News.